If it's working properly, the immune system wants to kill cancer cells. That's its job. Create an army of T cells to patrol our body for signs of infection and other diseases. The T cells inspect suspicious cells and, when they find an abnormal one, immediately lead an attack on it while limiting the damage to healthy cells. The way they do that is pretty elegant. T cells have protein receptors on their surface, and these claw-like structures latch onto antigens, protein fragments found on the surface of all cells. When a receptor latches onto an abnormal antigen, like one found only on a diseased cell, the T cell turns on and releases toxic chemicals that damage the abnormal cell and recruit other immune helpers to the area. Sometimes cancer cells develop ways to fool the immune system, either by disguising themselves as healthy cells or by sprouting so many antigens on their surface that the T cells are stymied and can't mount an effective attack, or by finding ways to turn off the immune response against them. One innovative way to see through the deception is CAR T cell therapy. Thousands of a patient's own T cells are collected in a process similar to a blood donation, using a modified and inactive virus that can't cause any disease but can introduce genetic information into a cell. The T cells are reprogrammed, so they now produce special receptors called chimeric antigen receptors, or CARs, on their surface. These newly engineered cells, called CAR T cells, are grown in a lab, and millions of them are infused back into the patient. The new receptors enable them to latch onto a specific antigen on the patient's tumor cells and destroy them, 